Hi guys and welcome to Finchcraft. Today I'm going to teach you how to work in inches and how we divide an inch into quarters and eighths and sixteenths and thirty seconds and all of those different things. So um, the easiest way to work it is if you know anything about fractions this is much easier but if you don't know anything about fractions then this is a good way to learn it. So what we basically do is this at the minute is divided into just one section. So that would basically mean it's a one over one. Okay? And this is zero over one. So that means we've got no parts. This is this is nothing. So that's nothing over one full part. And this is one part of a full part. Now what we could do is if we want to find out what half an inch is, we take basically take this middle measurement like this. And that means we've now got two parts. So that means that this part, if we count from here, that's no parts, one part, and two parts. So the way you would write that is, that is one part out of two, and this is two parts out of two. Okay, forgetting this part now. So now if we want to divide it even further, so this is obviously half an inch. But if we want to divide it even further, we can just go down to half of that part and half of that part, which now gives us one, two, three, four parts. So another way we'd write this now is we'd write this as one of the four parts, two of the four parts, three of the four parts, and that will be four of the four parts. So going back again and dividing even further, we can put even more marks in here. Now we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. So the easiest way to know this is again do exactly the same. So that's the first of the eight parts, the second of the eight parts, third of the eighth, and so on. So four out of eight, five out of eight, six out of eight, seven out of eight. So now if we were going to read this on a tape measure we'd say we need five eighths of an inch it would be this one so we're going by this measurement here. If we wanted to do two eighths we'd go to this measurement here. So now we can even divide it even further now. Let's try to get rid of that. So if we divide it now into sixteen You can now say that this one here is the first one. So we go one, two, three. Uh, so one over 16, two over 16, three over 16, four over 16, and so on. So if we go back to this part, this one would be eight over 16, which translates really, you can half this and you can make that a four out of eight. So this one is still 4 out of 8, or even if you go further, it's still, like we said before, where it's half an inch. So that's basically how inches work. I'm sorry for the messy board, I wish I could have something a bit better to draw it on. But um, I hope this video helps, and let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks a lot.